Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to use text edit to glitch a photo. I have a photo right here that I've opened up. You can see I'm in preview. Uh, I just opened it up from the desktop by double clicking on it, making sure that it's a JPEG. Higher quality images like RAW files and TIFFs and Photoshop files may have a harder time glitching. And what I'm going to do is actually keep this image open. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and kind of fit it up here into the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and right click this and I'm going to copy. Um, or I can just select it, hit Command C and then Command V to make a copy. So you can see here I have two of the same file. Um, I'm going to just to make sure that I'm keeping track of everything. Um, I'm just going to close this here really quickly. I'm going to double click on the image again to open it. And then I'm going to take that same image and open with, and I'm going to go ahead, get down here to other. And I'm going to scroll down to applications, text edit. I'm going to click open and text edit. And you can see here it's going to open up with the text edit. Now there's a couple of things. Um, you can sort of make this bigger just to see a little bit easier. Um, I want to have the image open over here because every time I save it, I'll be able to review the edit that I've made and then actually undo it if I want to. I made the copy of the image because the changes that we're going to make are unable to be redone. So I want to keep that original just in case I want to start over. Um, a, a quick note to begin with is that the header and the footer, basically the top and the bottom, of the file and the code here we want to leave alone otherwise everything else we can kind of um, play around with so i'm just going to scroll down a little bit make a selection and then delete i'm just going to hit the delete key on the keyboard command s will save the file and now you can see the preview of what we've done in this case i'm not so sure that i want this edit so i'm going to hit command z to make that go back and then maybe what I'll do here is copy that. I'm gonna hit Command C, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in right below it. I'm gonna hit Command S again, and here we have a little bit of a different edit. Um, again, I'm not loving this, so what I'm gonna do is hit Command Z to undo that paste. And I'm just gonna go through, um, you can copy and paste the code itself you can type in anything that you want. You can go in here and type your name. In this case, there's educational videos. I'm just going to type that in there, make a copy, go down a little bit, paste, and let's just see as we what happens here if we kind of go down and paste it a bunch of times. And I'm going to hit Command S to preview what happened. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting to me. Um, I like the way that these colors have kind of shifted a little bit. Um, let's see what else we can do here. So you can copy paste, you can delete. Command S to save, see what happened. Um, you can copy paste. One of the things that you see a lot of, Command S, see what happened there, um, is actually taking lyrics from a song or a poem or something and pasting it in to see what happens. Um, the last thing I want to show you here is find and replace. So what we're going to do is go up here to edit and then find and then find and replace. The shortcut key is Command Option F. So what we could do is, is find the word um, or a letter or something like that. In this case, what I'm going to do is just take this O right here, copy it, paste it into the find, and then I'm going to replace it with, um, let's just replace it with Stansfield and see what happens here. Um, there are 405 instances of this O. I'm going to go up here and click replace all, and then I'm going to hit done and then command S to save it. And then it says right here, the document in whatever couldn't be reverted. The file isn't in the correct format. So it, it, the only option is to close the document. Um, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to click undo. Um, and then command S. Let's see if this worked. Let's try to open it up again. Okay, so we 
Um, we did a little bit too much glitching there with the find and replace. Um, one of the things you can do is actually take the you know beginning, like I said, don't mess with the header and the footer. So take the first page or something, copy it, Command C, um, File New Text Document, paste it. Okay, and um, it's going to be hard to remember actually where we just copied from. So how are we going to remember that? Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll just click enter a couple of times, give a little bit of a page break, and then we'll delete that page break once we're done. So, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here at the bottom, select the last page or so, click enter a couple times, um, copy this last page, make sure you get it all. Okay, select all, copy. Um, here and then paste. And then I've got the header and the footer kind of in this document over here. I can I can copy it back after I've done my find and replace. So let's just try that find and replace again. Command option F is the shortcut key. We'll try the same thing, replace all, done. Then we'll go down to the bottom here. Okay. Find the selection, the footer. There it is. Okay. Make this a little bigger. So this is just basically a kind of a roundabout way of keeping the header and the footer intact when you're doing a find and replace all. So Command C, go down here, I'm at the bottom of the page, make that same selection, hit Command V, and then hit backspace to recenter it, make the selection for the header, Command C, go to the top of the page, um, I've got my page break right here, make that selection, and then Command V to paste it back in, and then we're just gonna hit backspace a couple times to recenter that. Um, and then what we can do here is hit Command S one more time, and we have another glitch. So this is not quite 100% falling apart, but there's, you know, some, the black here is telling me that most of this image has been glitched too far, but there's a little bit left right here. So again, we could hit Command Z to undo all of that, but we've gone, gone through a couple of steps, so it could be difficult. This is one of those cases where I might close it and start over with the original file down here. When, you're, when you've made your final um, adjustment, save it, close it, and that's it. You're all done. That's how you're going to glitch using the text edit. There are a couple of other things that you can do. Feel free to explore and have fun with it. Uh, always make a copy before you start so that if you glitch it too far, you can always start over.